So in this video, we'll be discussing about cow's milk protein allergy and how to know if your baby has an allergy to cow's milk so that hopefully after this, you will never be confused about whether your baby has cow's milk allergy or not. Cow's milk protein allergy is basically when you have a reaction to one or more milk proteins such as casein or whey. And this is due to the body's own immune system seeing these milk proteins as invaders and attacking them. Cow's milk allergy is also more common in formula-fed infants than breastfed infants. So basically, there are two types of cow's milk allergy. You have the first type, which is called immediate cow's milk allergy. So basically, this is when your baby gets symptoms within minutes of drinking cow's milk and can last for up to two hours. This is usually caused by the antibody called IgE. Symptoms include hay fever, runny or congested nose, hives, swelling of face, lips or tongue, wheeze, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and this can range in severity from skin problems to life-threatening condition called anaphylaxis. The second type is called delayed cow's milk allergy, which is not caused by the antibody IgE, and symptoms can take hours to show, and in some cases up to 72 hours after drinking cow's milk. This is the most common type of cow's milk allergy, but due to delayed symptoms, it's not always easy to diagnose and can often be confused with lactose intolerance. Symptoms include eczema, diarrhea, arching of the back, vomiting, refusing feeds, constipation, reflux, wheezing, and can sometimes be accompanied by restless sleep or excessive crying. Symptoms can usually present from the early weeks to around six months of age. And in most cases, moms will come to me and say, oh, my baby has been drinking milk from birth and has never had any problems. So this can be cow's milk allergy. However, cow's milk allergy can present at any time. It is important to know the different types of cow's milk allergy as the diagnosis and management is different for both, which I'll be discussing in my next video. Immediate cow's milk allergy can be diagnosed using skin prick tests and IgE specific blood tests, while delayed cow's milk allergy is usually diagnosed by cow's milk protein exclusion and then reintroduction of the cow's milk at a later stage. Allergy tests are not really done for delayed cow's milk allergy as they only test for immediate allergic reactions and not those delayed by many hours as an eczema. So looking again at the symptoms of delayed cow's milk allergy, let's break the symptoms into body parts. Sometimes with kids, you might find that one or both parents have a history of food allergies as well as asthma or eczema. The difficulty is differentiating cow's milk allergy from other conditions such as lactose intolerance, colic, reflux, celiac, and that's something I'll be discussing in another video. So basically, I hope this video has been very helpful. Remember, cow's milk allergy is due to reaction of one or more milk proteins. There are two types of cow's milk allergy. There is a type one or the immediate cow's milk allergy, where basically you get the common symptoms of hives, wheeziness, you know, rash, and you might have more severe symptoms such as, you know, lip swelling, facial swelling, um, difficulty breathing, and this is when you need to call a doctor. And this usually occurs within minutes of drinking the cow's milk. And then you've got the second type called the delayed cow's milk allergy, which can happen up to 72 hours after drinking milk. You tend to get more skin and tummy symptoms such as eczema, dermatitis, abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, and usually for this, the, the diagnosis is really by exclusion of cow's milk and reintroducing cow's milk later on. So it's quite important to recognize the symptoms that your baby might have. And when you're presenting to the doctor, you're armed with the knowledge of knowing could this be cow's milk allergy, or could this be lactose intolerance, or could this be reflux, or could this be something else. So I do hope that this video has been useful. And for more videos, please subscribe to my channel.